Hello, this is David D. Hilscher. I am a critical thinker, dissident scientist, and if you are not science woke, then this is the place for you. There are literally thousands and thousands of scientists from around the world who've been working for decades outside the mainstream who have identified problems, fixed those problems, and who are proposing new theories and models. You won't find anything like this on YouTube, so make sure you go down below and click on that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and you will be alerted to when our next video drops. Hey, I get this question all the time. Hey, if there's no space time, I agree with you. That's pretty, pretty, uh, a dumb concept. Well, what is there? Well, I'm going to talk about exactly that today. Well, let's first of all talk about space time. If there's anything positive about it. Well, there is a positive thing about space time. It sounds pretty darn impressive. Let's say this the fabric of space time, the space time continuum. Oh, I do not want to disrupt the space time continuum in my sci-fi film. Things will really go bad. You, I mean, you're messing with the very fat, very fabric of the universe. I mean, Sounds very impressive. It sounds very different from that old-fashioned, old-style Newton stuff like gravity and the apple falling on your head and force equals mass times acceleration and that kind of thing. It just doesn't sound as good. The mundane, the ultra-mundane core puzzle. I mean, that's old stuff. This is space-time. And, of course, space-time is putting two very fundamental concepts together. Uh, space, which is nothing, so it's gotten... It isn't anything. You put it together with time, which is really just movement or the measuring of movement you put those together and i guess you come up with something that you call a thing and of course glenn gore talks about it but regardless you're putting two things together space and time super fundamental ideas and of course it's going to be impressive when you put them together when they're just apart you put them together they're twice as more than twice as good well let's take a look at the negative side well it's pretty simple space time was invented by mr albert einstein and all his friends those guys you know all pushed this whole space time thing in the 20th century in the 21st century um it's not mathematical it's not physical and no one tells us what it is you hear it's like the fabric it's a rubber sheet it's uh three dimensions it's four dimensions it's I, you know some people it's like 11 to my, string theory and it's like what is it you really don't know no one tells it's oh it's quantum it's the space foam it's quantum space foam doesn't matter no one tells us what it is so maybe what's the problem is we need new directions we don't necessarily need to have to replace it we don't even we don't need to replace relativity we can throw special relativity and general relativity right out the window because our models don't need it we don't need to talk about that that's an extra complication that was invented we know the problems with it we again we identified those problems and we can we fix those problems and we have new models we have new directions completely new it's like sort of um well you know it's like going from a book here you know this is a book and you read a book and you can go inside and read the book and you can highlight stuff you can look th things up in that there and then we get a new modern uh, uh apparatus here and uh i can go in and pinch in and pinch out and Oh, can I do that here? Let me see. Uh, no pinch. Oh, so why did we did we replace books? We did, and we placed all kinds of stuff, but it ain't the same. So we have to understand that we can go. We 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 can have a different direction. We don't have to like replace space time and do what replace space. I mean, what space time was supposed to do, so especially when space time was supposed to be. Uh, bend, uh, making gravity and bending light. Well, guess what? Uh, we have people like Dr. Uh, Edward Dowdy who tells us it's not. That's not what's happening. Gravity and light don't interact directly. So that's why we we're not necessarily we're not going to throw it out. It's not needed. This is an old idea. Doesn't work. Uh, then what? We, what do we need to do? Well, we need new directions. Those new directions include what is light, what is gravity. What's an electric field? And how do these interact with atomic and subatomic structures? <coughs> Excuse me. So, what's wanted? Well, a more holistic approach. We can no longer just talk about pieces. We always talk about this piece, space-time and relativity and all these things. And then we try to say, well, how do we put them together? How do we unify them? Well, why don't we start with a model that's unified? Why don't we start with a model that says it's going to describe everything? It's going to describe gravity. It's going to describe light. It's going to describe magnetic and electric fields. It's going to describe uh, 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 a subatomic structure and all that and how they all interact. It's going to do all that. Well, we're going to do a more holistic approach. And not only that, 
we're going to make a physical model instead of a mathematical one. That's what's needed. So what do we have? Well, right now we are in a model revolution in the Kuhn cycle, and we have these models currently being debated and looked at and worked on. Ether models, particle models, and lattice models. There's action at a distance, but I didn't put those in because I don't know a whole lot about it. The biggest one by far is ether, and the idea is ether is just like this light you're seeing and the reflection on my glasses all the time from the screen. All those things are waves through the ether, just like these sound waves that are coming from my mouth going into my microphone right here, uh, right there. That is. Uh, particles that bash onto each other and transmit those waves to the oop, bam 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 um, the microphone and then that is put into electronic signals comes out and comes into the speakers comes into your ears and you get that but it's all through a medium it's sort of like there are waves in, in the ocean there are light waves in the ether you have sound waves in the air you have light waves in the ether, that's where that comes from. And most of the people working outside the mainstream subscribe to the ether model. <coughs> Some of us, like my father and I, subscribe to a particle model, and everything's a particle. In fact, waves are waves of particles, not waves in particles. That is, just like you have waves of bombers that come at you, you can have waves of particles that come at you. That's uh, the idea. And then everything, gravity and light and magnetic fields, electro electric fields, um, uh, all of those things, subatomic and atomic structures and how they interact, all of those things in a holistic type of a model. Those are models. We don't have to talk about space-time. We don't have to talk about relativity. We don't care about it. We have to describe what is seen in the universe using our models, and that's what we're trying to do. And then there are lattice models. I don't know as much about those. Uh, people like Bruce Nappy, who's a, a latticist, and uh, I know Ron Hatch used to be a latticist. I'm not sure where he's at these days, the GPS guy. But regardless, these are the new models. These are the, We are in a model revolution. That is, these are competing to be the next paradigm. And uh, so that is my little spiel on what, if there's no space time, what is that? Again, I'm not going to talk about each one of these right there. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll be talking about those uh, sometime in their own little talks to give you an idea what they are. But I hope you that gives you a little bit of insight how we critical thinkers and science woke people think about space time or the alternative to space time. And remember what I say, don't take my word for it. I want you to stay critical. I want you to stay thinking. I'm David D. Hilser. I'm your science therapist taking you to the promised land of being science woke. Ciao for now.